It's time for Tuesday Terror, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Toss after you. Against the black wall after the beating, I waited. I didn't even know what for, not until I saw you. The alley was dark, I call alleys at night, but you were bright under the street lamps. I remember I thought for a moment you were a ghost, and that if you were to be the last thing I saw before I died, then I was one lucky guy. Grey. Everything was grey. Translucent. You shift my wall back into focus and, after a few blinks, I could finally see the origin of that sweet smell that surrounded me. There were candles around us, dripping big tears of warm wax on the pavement, pools and pools of it. The white substance was crawling up my legs, my hands, burying me. Had I not been that tired, I would have cried. To look at me in a way I recognize. It was the same look I had given to all those I had killed. After beatings, after bruises and blood clots and knife wounds. I thought of a house with a blue carpet and all my mother's shoes. No, I said. I didn't plead. I didn't cry. I just rebelled against you taking away any little pleasure you could get from finishing me off. Now I know that you had already decided, long before I dared to defy you. You crouched down. I was a kid in the big scheme of your universe. You may as well be the first. You spoke without moving your lips. Only on clear nights, I can remember the timbre of your voice. It was a gentle and lukewarm drip. Seductive. <laughs> you close my eyes with your fingertips. A gentle touch. Before I opened them, I could already feel the sunlight on my skin. I could breathe again. Well, I was tied to Anna and Jessica's bag for the next two weeks, but I was alive. She kept me alive. I took it as a sign. I had a promise to fulfill, and my hands asked for blood. The questions about you, the obsession, could wait. First, I had to go back to the house. By now you surely know why I'm doing this, don't you? <laughs> You took everything from me. You gave me candles, water, and a second chance, and I am grateful, but I'm not what I used to be. There's a splinter in you inside me, between my ribs and in my flesh, and I can feel it sinking farther and farther. My insides recoiling any time I think of you. When it comes to you, I'm real. You look at me, and didn't blink. You dared not to look away, you fool. I hate, I hate this, what you make me feel, this artificial warmness. And first that shadow that won't leave me, then fair, now these petals. 
Uh, that shadow isn't you. Why aren't you here? Why are you hiding away from me? The sun will rise in a few hours and I'll be closer, but not enough. Never enough. I'll still be waiting. You better show up. You can't run away forever. I want to be your last stop. Hi, I'm David Orion Pena, writer and producer of Dos After You and The Voice of Tech. This is an independent podcast. If you want to be part of our community and support it, you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash you. Another great and zero-cost way of supporting it is to subscribe, rate, and review it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts, and spread the word and share it with your friends. Thank you for listening. And remember, record yourself. Seal may be listening. Today on our trip, we'll like to thank our Patreons. Thank you for the bus tickets. You're listening to Tuesday Terrors on the Mutual Audio Network. Tomorrow is our weekly anthology for science fiction and fantasy as Lothar Tuppen brings you Wednesday Wonders. Subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for every day of amazing audio, or find the Wednesday Wonders feed in your favorite podcast player. And thank you for listening, everybody. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.